द स्कल इंट्रोडक्शन स्कल कैन बी डिवाइडेड इंटू टू मेन पार्ट्स द कैलवेरिया और द ब्रेन बॉक्स इट इज़ द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द क्रेनियम विच इंक्लूज इज द ब्रेन द फेशियल स्केलेटन कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स द रेस्ट ऑफ द स्कल एंड इंक्लूड्स द मैंडिबल बोन्स ऑफ द स्कल इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू बोन्स विच आर नेम्ड एज फॉलोज द कैलवेरिया और द ब्रेन केस इज कंपोज ऑफ एट बोन्स विच कैन बी पेड एंड अनपेड सो द पेड बोन्स आर पराइटल टेम्पोरल अनपेड बोन्स आर द फ्रंटल ऑक्सीपिटल स्पिनॉइड एंड द इथमॉइड द फेशियल स्केलेटन इज कंपोज ऑफ फोर्टीन बोन्स इट दे कैन बी पेड और द अनपेड बोन्स नो द पेड बोन्स आर मैगजिला जाइगोमेटिक नेजल लैक्रिमल पैलेटाइन इन्फीरियर नेजल कॉन्का नो द अनपेड बोन्स आर द मैंडिबल and the omer so with the exception of temporomandibular joint which permits free movements most of the joints of the skull are immovable or sorry and fibrous in type these are known as sutures a few are primary cartilaginous joints now going to the methods of study of the skull the whole skull can be studied from outside or externally in different views that is the superior view or norma verticalis posterior view or norma occipitalis anterior view or norma frontalis lateral view or norma lateralis inferior view or norma basalis the whole skull can be studied from inside or internally after removing the roof of the calvaria or the skull cap so the internal surface of the cranial vault internal surface of the cranial base and the skull can also be studied as individual bones now we'll study the superior view of the skull or the norma verticalis it is ovoid in shape and wider posteriorly bones contributing to norma verticalis are the frontal bone anteriorly uppermost part of the occipital bone posteriorly and the parietal bone on each side of the midline sutures seen in this view are coronal suture which is in between the frontal and the parietal bones sagittal suture it is in between two parietal bones in the median plane lambdoid suture it is posterior between occipital and the two parietal bones metopic suture occasionally present in about 3 to 8% of individuals which lies in the median plane and separates the two frontal halves metopic suture is not seen in this given bone now the features vertex is the highest point on the sagittal suture vault is the arched roof of the skull bregma it is the meeting point of coronal and sagittal suture in fetal skull this is the site of membranous gap called as anterior fontanelle it is it closes at 18 months of age lambda 
it is the meeting point of sagittal and lambdoid sutures in fetal skull this is a membranous gap and is called as posterior fontanelle it closes by 2 to 3 months of age parietal foramen it pierces the parietal bone on each side of midline about 3.5 cm in front of the lambda it transmits emissary veins from the scalp into the superior sagittal sinus obelion it is a region on the sagittal suture between two parietal foramen parietal eminence this is the area of maximum convexity of the parietal bone now we have temporal lines these are two types superior temporal line and inferior temporal line when we trace anteriorly these two lines fuse whereas posteriorly the superior line fades out over the parietal bone inferior line continues downwards and forward the epicranial aponeurosis and temporal fascia is attached to the superior temporal line now we'll see this skull from its posterior view that is norma occipitalis parietal bones squamous part of occipital bone and mastoid part of temporal bone constitute the norma occipitalis sutures seen here are posterior part of the sagittal suture the lambdoid suture that is in between the two parietal bones and the occipital bone occipito mastoid suture and parieto mastoid suture features seen here are the external occipital protuberance it is a midline protuberance on the lower part of norma occipitalis inion it is the most prominent point on external occipital protuberance trapezius originates from upper part of external occipital protuberance whereas ligamentum nocae is attached to its lower part we have the superior nocal line these are curved ridges passing laterally from the external occipital protuberance trapezius originates from medial 1/3 whereas sternomastoid and splenius capitus is inserted to its lateral part highest nocal line it is 1 cm above the superior nocal line epicranial aponeurosis is attached to the medial part whereas occipital belly of occipito frontalis originates on each side from the lateral 2/3 now the mastoid foramen it lies near the occipito mastoid suture it opens internally into sigmoid sulcus meningeal branch of occipital artery and emissary vein traverses through this foramen occipital point it lies in mid midline which is little above the inion now area below the superior nocal line will be studied with norma basalis